welcome back to guns.com. My name is Taylor and today we are reviewing the Beretta 92X Performance. This is a pretty cool gun for me to come and review because the first pistol that I actually shot was the Beretta 92FS. The X Performance is, in a way, the competition version of that same exact pistol. So to come back to this platform nine years later and revisit the really cool racy version has been pretty awesome. So let's talk about what makes this one different from the other versions of the 92 platform. Now keep in mind that Beretta came out with the 92 platform in the 70s and it's been used as a duty gun for the military, different law enforcement branches, stuff like that. So this is a very, very proven platform. And basically what they did is they went through the whole thing and they somehow made it better. <laughs> The first thing that most people notice is the slide. So there's a really large cutout on the top of the slide. It's called a Brigadier slide. What that does is it's reducing the weight and it actually increases the speed that the slide is able to cycle. Um, and what they've done on the slide as well, because obviously when you're taking away a lot of material, that gives away a place for you to gain purchase and manipulate the slide. They've made a lot of what they call sawtooth serrations on the front and rear of the slide. So it makes it very easy to manipulate. Okay, and then the other thing that I'll mention here while we're here is the trigger. So this is a double action, single action gun. However, there is not a decocker on it. So if we want to lower the trigger from this position, just grab the hammer, slowly let it down, right? And okay, because everyone wants to know about the trigger, uh, this has got to be one of the best factory triggers out there. I mean, just yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so when we are in double action, it is at about a six pound pull. When we are in single action with this particular pistol, it's about three pounds. That's really <laughs> impressive and it's extraordinarily consistent. To go back to the frame of the slide, this is also different with the X Performance model, is we have a Vertec frame. So this frame is all steel. This is a very heavy gun. You notice that when you put it in your hands, it is 47.6 ounces. Uh, the angle, the grip angle on this frame is a little bit different, and it's also a lot slimmer. So if you are someone who is used to the regular 92 grip, this will be different. There is no longer that hump on the back. However, there is a back strap that you could attach if you prefer that grip. It also thickens it up a little bit. Now, for me, I feel that even with the thinner grips, it is still a pretty wide gun, and that's very well known. A lot of people do mention that. However, over here, they have improved some ergonomics. What they have done is, first of all, Hallelujah. Um, they have taken the safety off of the slide and they have put it onto the frame. It seems really simple. This is a pretty important thing. For a lot of people, when this safety is on the slide, when you are shooting it, um, you easily engage it. So that's a little bit better of a spot for it. We also have the slide release right here. Um, that is oversized. I really like it. It makes it easy to manipulate and to use. The other thing as well is in the front right here, what we have is a lot of people will call it gas pedal. If you're not familiar with aftermarket uh, gun parts, uh, it's basically just a place to put your thumb when you're shooting it. It's an indexing point. Uh, with my particular hands, my thumb is not long enough to reach that. Um, I'm sure it's nice. Some people really seem to like it. I was going through uh, different reviews and feedback. Other people, however, have mixed feelings about it. So check it out, see what you like for yourself. On the top of this slide right here, it is optic ready. That is really nice to see. And in terms of the sights, some really important things to mention. So on the front sight right here, this is a red fiber optic, which is very bright, uh, and you could remove it. That's huge. So in like the 92FS, you can't take that front sight off. It's just there. The rear sight right here is a black matted serrated rear sight. It sits up a little bit higher, but it does that just because of the grip angle. It actually, when you're shooting it, doesn't look high at all. 
and it contrasts very nicely with that front fiber optic. You can also fully adjust this for windage and for height, which is excellent. So if you don't choose to go with red dot, the iron sights are some of my most favorite factory iron sights out there. Um, I wouldn't change it if I were to run this in competition. Coming down a little bit further on the Vertec frame, what we have is some really aggressive checkering here on the back and on the front. And my favorite part about this gun, okay, I lied, it's just one of my favorite parts, is the Magwell. It's nice and flared, it's polished, it is very easy to reload this particular pistol and to uh, just do all sorts of cool things. Outside of that, overall shooting this pistol, it feels, really awesome. I don't particularly have any negative feedback about it, except that, again, the grip is a little bit wider. So for me, my hands got fatigued a little bit quicker with this particular pistol, but the recoil impulse is great. And because of the weight, it makes transitioning between targets just super easy and very steady. It's a very, very well-balanced gun. <laughs> Um, I had a blast coming back to it, did some long distance shooting with it, did some different drills to test it out. I would love to run it through a competition, but for now I feel pretty confident with it. And if you have any questions or comments at all on this, please drop a comment, let us know. There's gonna be a full article description on specs and all that good stuff. Um, the last couple things I wanna mention on this outside of the gun um, is that this particular one right here does come with a couple of holsters. So this one right here is something that you would see uh, for different divisions in like USPSA. Um, this is like an open or limited holster, for instance. This is something that we will see in some of your more like production and carry optics types divisions. But again, I hope that you have found this review very helpful. You can find this and everything else right on guns.com. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all the things. Thank you so much, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time.